The sacred texts say that after 40 days, the truth came to Siddhartha in stages. During the first night watch, he achieved insight into all his past lives. During the second night watch, he discovered the coherence of cyclical existences, the law of cause and effect, the movement of karma. During the third and last night watch, he conquered the four mental poisons, sensual desire, attachment, wrong views, and ignorance. That evening, under a full moon of the month of May, at the age of 35, he attained enlightenment, awakening, supreme knowledge, nirvana. In Buddhism, we speak of nirvana, which is the cessation of all suffering. Nirvana means uh, the cessation, the extinction of, uh, of all suffering. But uh, our suffering um, uh, comes from our wrong perceptions, avidya, uh, misunderstanding. And uh, that is why uh, the practice of meditation, the practice of looking deeply, has the purpose of removing wrong perceptions from us. If we are able to remove our wrong perceptions, uh, we will be able to be free from the afflictions and the sufferings that always arise from wrong perceptions. You have wrong perception on yourself and on the other, and the other has wrong perception on themselves and on you, and that is the cause of fear, of violence, of hatred. And that is why uh, trying to remove wrong perceptions is, uh, is, uh, is the only way uh, to peace. And, and that is why nirvana is, first of all, the removal of wrong perceptions. And when you remove wrong perceptions, you remove the suffering. And uh, to meditate uh, deeply, you find out that uh, even ideas like uh, being and non-being, uh, birth and death, uh, coming and going, uh, are wrong ideas. Uh, if you can uh, touch reality in depth, you realize that uh, uh, such, suchness means the ultimate reality is free from, from birth, from dying, from coming, from going, uh, from being, from non-being. Uh, that is why uh, nirvana is first of all the removal of uh, notions, of ideas that serve the base of uh, misunderstanding and suffering. If you are afraid of death, of uh, nothingness, of non-being, because you have wrong perceptions on, uh, on death and on uh, non-being. Uh, the French uh, scientist uh, Lavoisier said, uh, there is no birth, there is no death. Uh, he just observed uh, uh, reality around him and come to the conclusion that rien ne se crée, rien ne se perd. When you look at uh, a cloud, uh, you think that the cloud as a being. And later on, when the cloud becomes the rain, you don't see the cloud anymore and you say the cloud the, is not there. And you, de you describe the cloud as non-being. But uh, if you look deeply, you can see the cloud in the rain. Uh, and that is why uh, it's impossible for a cloud to die. A cloud can become uh, rain, or uh, snow, or ice, but a cloud cannot become nothing. And that is why the notion of death cannot be applied to reality. There is uh, a transformation. There is a continuation. But you cannot say that there is death. Because uh, in your mind, to die means from something, you suddenly become nothing. Uh, from someone, you suddenly become no one. And so the notion of death cannot apply to reality, whether to a cloud or to a human being. Uh, the Buddha did not die. The Buddha only continued uh, by his Sangha, by his Dharma. And you can touch the Buddha in the here and the now. And that is why ideas like uh, uh, being born, uh, dying, coming and going, uh, being and non-being uh, should be removed by, by the practice of looking deeply. 
And when you can remove these notions, uh, you are free and you have non-fear. And non-fear is the true foundation of great happiness. As far as fear is there in your heart, happiness cannot be perfect. And that is why nirvana is not something that you get in the future. Nirvana is the capacity of removing wrong notions, wrong perceptions, which is uh, the practice of uh, uh, freedom. Nirvana can be translated as freedom, freedom from views. And in Buddhism, uh, all views are wrong views. Uh, when, you, when, when you get in touch with uh, reality, uh, you no longer have views, you have uh, wisdom. You have a direct encounter with reality, and that is no longer called views. Uh, 